Space and Star Trek go hand in hand. For 50 years, Star Trek has inspired generations of scientists, engineers, and even astronauts to reach beyond their grasp to help create a future for humanity with limitless potential. Let's take a look at some of Star Trek's science fiction concepts that are now a little closer to being science fact, thanks to our very own International Space Station. Warp drives, phasers, and transporters might be what you picture when you think of Star Trek. But some of the show's other scientific concepts are actually being researched and utilized aboard humanity's laboratory in the sky, the International Space Station. The International Space Station is a science laboratory in the unique environment of microgravity. It allows you to do research that's impossible to do on the surface of Earth. And that is going to allow us to make breakthroughs in ways we've never done before. So we can live better and create new um, technologies that we can bring back here on Earth. And the money spent out there in space is investing in our future right here on Earth. Measuring the planet now, Captain. Spheroid shaped. Atmosphere. Oxygen, nitrogen. Earth. Star Trek, they would scan the planet for life forms and the atmosphere, for example. All of those same things that the Enterprise would observe, we're able to observe from the space station. We have a, a variety of atmospheric sensors on the space station. And really looking at Earth from up there, it shows you a lot of things that you cannot see from, from the ground. We're learning more about the Earth, about how clouds form, about the winds and how those create hurricanes, how our planet behaves. We can understand the potential implications of climate change. Looking at the atmosphere for signs of life. Population change. Human impact on Earth. And this is what space gives you, a perspective that you cannot have here on Earth. So we're moving to the point where, yes, you can say, you know, scan, the, scan this planet. It's a little fancier on the Enterprise, but the fundamentals are the same. We've got 14 science labs aboard this ship. The finest equipment and computers in the galaxy. Much like the Enterprise, the International Space Station is home to a state-of-the-art laboratory. The Space Station is a unique place for doing biomedical research. Also, working in a weightless environment allows researchers to take gravity out of the equation. It opens up new research areas to scientists who have never studied this kind of phenomenon. So we can get insights into those processes that we can't get back here on Earth. There's amazing things that are being discovered. It allows for the development of new medicines, new treatments for various diseases. And really improving the quality of our lives here on Earth. Gentlemen, there is one thing which requires the immediate attention of all of us, specifically our future. Star Trek was really a big part of space exploration today because it's in all of our souls. We all share a curiosity about what's beyond the horizon. People gravitated towards Star Trek and found the inspiration there to go on and become scientists and engineers and, and make their contributions. So the youthful scientists at NASA are conceiving things that the older people never thought of, never occurred to them. We're making great discoveries and we're laying all that foundation for the dream that Star Trek really represents. We want that to be true. And so we're working really hard to go make that happen. Research aboard the International Space Station is advancing knowledge of our bodies, our home planet, and our understanding of the cosmos. But we've only scratched the surface. There's an entire universe of scientific discoveries to be made. And with that knowledge, who knows how far we'll go.